Hello, this is Fading Memories, a game where you tell stories and share memories and get to know each other while you play. It is inspired by a game called Memory, which I played a lot as a kid and probably you too. It's a game where you have to match pairs such as mum and mum, talk and talk and so on. But just like in Memory, our goal is to find all the matches. But the difference is that Fading Memories is cooperative. So you win, you lose all together. There is no single winner. We win all together when we find all the matches and we lose again all together when these cards, these see-through black and white fade cards run out. So how do you start? You need to flip all the cards, all the memory cards, face down, just like in memory. So I'll do that. And you can lay them out whichever order you want. You can put them in a very structured grid. You can put them in a chaotic way. It doesn't really matter as long as all the memory cards are face down, just like this. Now, do you remember how to play memory? What do you do? You flip two cards, and then you have to see whether they match, such as play and learn. You use those two words as a prompt to share a memory. For example, I remember that as a child I wanted to play the saxophone because my grandpa used to play the saxophone. But at the music school they told me that the saxophone was too big for me, so they suggested that I play the clarinet instead. So reluctantly I started learning how to play the clarinet, and I didn't like it at first. But it kind of grew on me, and I played it for more than 10 years. Can you believe it? So that wasn't necessarily a good story, but it was a story. And it was connected to learning and play. After you shared your story, long or short, real or invented, actually, real stories tend to be easier to share than invented ones, as a tip, you take two fade cards, and you use them to fade that memory. Now you can see that the fade cards are see-through, so that memory is starting to fade. And your turn is over. Now the next player flips two cards, mum and grandma, for instance, and then shares a story that connects those two words. So a memory that has something to do with grandma, your grandma, some grandma, and mom, your mom, someone else's mom. Then after you share the story, you take two fade cards and you fade that memory as well. And so on. At some point, you would expect that pairs start to appear. Oh, do you remember? Where was the other learn? You can probably see it but before you unlock that pair, this is important, you have to tell the story that was connected to it. So whoever it is that is currently playing will have to retell the story of me learning to play the clarinet instead of the saxophone as a child. And then they can lift the fade card and have a match. Then I can take this fade card and put it back on top of the other faded cards. Now there are some edge cases such as what happens if I pick two words that are not matching? Say, let's roll back in time a bit. So that I tell the story of the clarinet and saxophone and then say, ah, that's the card. Now, learn and play are not the same, right? So in that case, you would have to Tell another story that has something to do with learning and something to do with play, and then put the fade card on top of both, just like that. Another thing worth mentioning is that only the current player can take cards, can manipulate cards. So if it's not your turn right now, you can't point at cards, you can't say pick this one or pick this one, and you can't even tell explicitly to the other player which card you want them to pick. But you can make some suggestions. You can use the word on top 
of the fade card that you want to encourage your fellow player to use and say something suggestive but without using the word itself. So for instance you could say, mm, I'm really hungry, I think you should give me some food. So what do you think I'm suggesting here? I'm kind of suggesting to my fellow player that I would like them to pick this card. Now because this is a cooperative game, you are all encouraged to work together. You will feel like you want to grab cards, but you have to respect the other person's turn. When it's not your turn, don't touch the card, don't tell them explicitly what to do, but be suggestive. It's really fun actually. Another edge case, another very lucky case, is when you flip two cards and they match. Well, in that case, you don't have to tell a story, you've just been lucky. The other thing is, if you flip two cards, say eat and, no, nope, wait, eat and grandma, and you know that the other grandma is here, but you have already made your two choices, so you have to tell a story that involves eating and grandma, and then fade it. Then the next player will be able to retell that story to access this card, and then retell that story in order to access that card. So two stories, two cards, and then recycle the fading cards. So this is Fading Memories in a Nutshell. Have fun. Remember that this is a cooperative game, so it's really not about winning, but it's about getting to know each other while sharing some memories.